Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I'm Architect Webby and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the basic materials of building constructions. So without wasting more time, let's get into the video. So building materials are mainly divided in two types. One is natural building materials and second is man-made materials. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the man-made materials. Natural materials have mud, stone, wood, lime, asbestos and leaves etc. Whereas in man-made material, we have cement, brick, tiles, metal, glass and plastic. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing about man-made materials. Now coming on to the cement, cement is one of the best binding materials in the construction industry that is used to reinforce the building units such as stones, bricks, tiles, etc. Cement is finely powdered material that hardens when mixing with water. It is used worldwide in all types of construction. Basic properties of cement, setting time, in initial setting, the cement takes 30 to 45 minutes to harden, whereas for the final setting, um, or the cement to harden, it takes hardly 10 hours. It provides strength to the masonry, stiffens or hardens early, possesses good plasticity, an excellent building material, easily workable, good moisture resistant. Uses of cement as building material to prepare cement mortar, to prepare cement concrete, to build fireproof and thermal proof structure, to build chemical proof structure, to build chemical proof structures as a grout material to manufacture precast members. Now coming to the steel, steel offers many advantages in the construction industry due to its exceptional qualities such as durability, high tensile strength and resistance to corrosion. Basic properties of steel, the most important properties of steel are great formability and durability, good tensile and yield strength and good thermal conductivity. Uses of steel in construction. Steel is an environment friendly material and sustainable material. Steel is also used on roofs, claddings, for external walls or in the construction of structural members. Compared to other materials, steel requires a low amount of energy to produce lightweight steel construction. There are three types of steel construction, HYSD, TMT and TOR. Types of steel used in constructions are structural steel, rebar steel, alloy steel, mild steel, stainless steel, tool steel and light gauge steel. Coming on to the sand, sand is a loose fragmented naturally occurring material consisting of very small particles of decomposed rocks, corals and shells. Basic properties of sand, sand is used to provide bulk, strength and other properties to construction materials like asphalt and concrete. It is used as a decorative material in landscaping also. Types of sand, a concrete sand, crushed stone sand, utility sand, field sand and beach sand. Concrete, concrete is a construction material composed of cement, fine aggregates and coarse aggregates mixed with water which hardens with time. A building material made up from mixture of broken stone or gravel, sand, cement, water which can be spread or poured into molds and forms a mass resembling stone on hardening. In a building construction, concrete is used for the construction of foundations, columns, beams, slabs and other loading bearing. Basic properties of concrete. Concrete is known by its grade which is designated as M15 and M20. Few types of concrete are normal strength concrete, plain or ordinary concrete, reinforced concrete, pre-stressed concrete, pre-cast concrete, lightweight concrete, high strength concrete, high performance concrete. Uses of concrete in construction. Concrete is fire resistant and it can resist extreme level of flame. Concrete is safe for building occupants. The strength of concrete increases over time. Concrete gives a longer service life. It is durable and the most cost effective now coming on to the brick. A brick is a rectangular in shape and of size that can be conveniently handled with one hand. Brick may be made up of burnt clay or mixture of sand and lime or of Portland cement concrete. A brick is building material used to make walls, pavements and other elements in masonry construction. Classification of bricks according to the constituent raw material. One is clay brick. 
second is limestone brick third is glass brick fourth is concrete brick uses of brick brick plays very important role in the field of civil engineering construction bricks are used as an alternative of stones in construction purpose here are some main uses of construction brick given below for the wall construction it can be used for floor construction it can be used for arch construction and the brick retaining wall clay brick it is one of the oldest building material brick continues to be the most popular and leading construction material because of being cheap durable and easy to handle and work with clay bricks are used for building up exterior and interior walls partitions piers footings and other load bearing structures clay brick are essentially made up of clay which has some specific properties the plasticity behavior when it is mixed with water clay particles fuse together when the subjected to high temperature economical and easily available material now sixth being glass glass is an inorganic solid material that is usually transparent or translucent as well as hard brittle and impervious to the natural elements there are different types of glass sheet glass floored glass laminated glass shatterproof glass energy efficient glass extra clean glass chromatic glass pattern glass toughened glass tinted glass properties of glass transparency this is the primary property of the glass workability and recycle property glass has superior workability as it can be molded into countless shapes strength glass is usually brittle but we can make it stronger by adding admixtures and laminate transmittance this is the visible fraction of light passing through the glass u value it represents how much heat transferred through the glass and if you like this video please do not forget to like comment share i will be back with the part 2 of this series please stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel below thanks for watching bye